Yo, what's up? You know, sometimes it's like, uh, you know, things happen and uh, sometimes things, you know, in order to work them out, you got to go through some uh, litigious action and, uh, man, that shit is nasty. Let me tell you, whatever you want to say about blood slut, whatever you want to say about things like blood slut, man, <laughs> all things in due time, right? But the good thing about this is I got to go through my old records. I got to go through some of the stuff I already got together. And then I find some oldies, man. I found some stuff I didn't even remember I had. Like a while ago, I was doing some research, and I found out about these guys. I really want them in my band. Owen. Owen Lovejoy. Man, give me a call, all right? I'm Kraus. Give me a call. And uh, Joshua. Joshua Reed Giddings. Man, if you uh, if you get this message, dude, I totally heard about your stuff. I heard about uh, what you did with Owen. Guys, give me a call. Even if it doesn't work out, maybe we can do something together. All right, even if we uh, aren't supposed to be in the same band together, uh, you know, maybe we could put together a tour, at least a show or two. Let me know. But uh, in the meantime, man, I found something. You know, I've been uh, trying to come up with some songs, and I got a couple. I let you know about them. But then I got this one. And it brings up this situation I had. See, a while ago, I came up with this song, but it was based on uh, music from another group. And I know these guys, they're like, they're like classic in the genre. But they got this thing about copyright protections. And you know, when you're young and coming up, especially when you're part of that culture where you got the, like, the tapes, and you get the tapes, you get the recordings of the shows, and you swap the tapes with each other, and it's just like part of enjoying the music, especially if you get the live show, and they get on some sort of extended jam session at that show, and you didn't get to go, but you know, it's part of like being in, a, being in the moment. You know, but and then to hear the band like get all like iffy about copyright, and piracy but you know as you get older this stuff makes sense so you want to be respectful you know I tried contacting those guys but uh, that song didn't work out but there was another group and they had this song man and I really really like this song and uh, one day I was uh, when I was on the street uh, actually I got it right here this is the best part it was uh, there was it was it on the street yeah it was man uh, 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 it was before. It was, it, it wasn't, I wasn't quite on the street. I was, uh, I was, uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I just need, the date it on here is August 8th, 2019. Can you believe it? August 8th, 2019, man. I wrote a song. I wrote the first actual Blood Slut song, man. I didn't even know the name of the group. I didn't really think I was going to be able to get a group. You know, that other song I tried to write, somebody stole that. I don't got that lyrics anymore, but somehow I held on to this, man. August 8th, 2019. And the best part about it is that this is not even a, a heavy metal song. It's based on a song by the Charlie Daniels Band. And that's the thing. I haven't contacted them, and I haven't asked if I could get their permission in order to be able to, to, to do a song using their music. Because it's, like, it's got like the tune, and it's got like their melody to it. But I got, uh, I, got, I got the beginnings of a, of, of a nice little song here. And uh, I just thought I'd share it with you. I could tell you the lyrics. And I'm kind of tempted to. But I can't do it to the base of the song until I get their, uh, get their permission. But I'm going to go here. I'm going to recite them as if it's like spoken word. <clears throat> the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for the CDC. They were full of lies for calling in spies they were trying to frame Colleen when he came across a terrorist writing out scripts and they were hot and he jumped up on a hidden cam and said Ross let me tell you what I guess you didn't know it but I'm a racquetballer too and if you care to stake your share I'll bust a bet with you to be continued. You can see it right here, man. I got it. I got it time stamped. See that? 9:27 p.m. 8:8 2019. Go freaking figure.